that in me So could you call me over without the bitter hesitation And place your money where your mouth is Hey guys, today we're going to do something different. We're going to do a look that you can go out in using my products. So I'm going to start with the... The reason why I want to do this is because I actually did it last night, but I want to show you how I did it. So we're going to use some of my go-to balm. It's a combination of three... Use a different one. Three um, nourishing butters from Africa, the motherland. It has a green color. One ingredient is avocado butter. I'll spill one of the secrets now. So. Rub it on your face. Now you have to rub it in good because one of the butters has a different like melting temperature so that so when you rub it, one will seem granular, but it's not. It's completely, and it's not green at all. It's just, I think, from the, they use avocado um, skin as well in the processing. Um, processing, in the process. They use avocado skin in the process, I believe. Okay. Now, now that we have a good base, we're going to put, some eye cream now this product isn't from my line but my favorite is the Ren eye cream and I don't like the packaging I don't know why they would choose that color but to each his own for brightening eye cream okay now we are going to put some castor oil on our eyelashes to help with the growth. There's some on your hair as well. If you're like me, you suffer from hair loss. I also like to use um, pumpkin seed oil. Okay. Then, what else do we need? We need to work on our forehead. So it's good to treat your brown spots from all angles. So I like to use a bright elixir. Just put a little kojic acid on my forehead. And the reason why I put the balm first is because I don't want my skin getting red or act like the actives are too strong. And the balm, having a layer of balm underneath will cut down some of its effectiveness because, you know, I am going to, this is a day look. Now at night, I wouldn't use any balm first. I would put all my active ingredients on before my balm, but since this is a day look, I just want to touch a little bit on the forehead because um, that's where I have melasma. Okay, so now that I got my balm and my kojic acid, I'm using my sensitive skin, which is a really good L to MD dupe. And I like this one because it, it melts in. You cannot see it. Okay, see how it just melted right in? All right, now my favorite thing to do is to put on my glass skin, okay? So the glass skin is a ceramide gel cream. It has, um, I'll tell you what it has. Go to my website, themilk.com, because I don't have my little cheat sheet with me. But um, really good ingredients. Hyaluronic acid, glucosamine, elantoin, mica, aloe vera juice. Yeah. And then some emulsifiers. So, glass skin is going to really give you that glow. But since we're not using any concealers or foundation in this look. I want to give my skin a little pop of color. So I'm just going to go for a bunch of blush, but I'm going to bring the blush all the way up almost under my eye because I'm going to trick Trump Loy. I'm going to fool the eye. So it looks like I have some pizzazz to my face, but really it's just blush. 
Okay. Now we're gonna go with glass skin and it's gonna look like our skin is just lit from within. So it's a ceramide gel cream. I love the consistency. And we're just gonna pat that in. And it's going to illuminate a little here. Now, technically you could sleep with this cream because it's all good skincare products, but then who wants a, a, <laughs> a light reflecting streak on your pillow? You don't, right? Because these, this has mica in pearl and pink. Okay, so hold on, let me get a um, wipe for my hands. All right, so see how we just hit the skin with a little bit of je ne sais quoi? So that's the glass skin and it comes like this. You're gonna get a cute pink pump and you're also gonna get a pump top. So you're gonna love that. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do for this day look is to do our little eyebrows a little bit. I was born with like no, no eyebrows so just a little bit of a go over with the Anastasia will help um, frame the eyes a little. We're not gonna put any eye makeup on. Last night I did go with a little liner and just went like bloop, bloop, but you really don't need to. Okay, you can always put a little bit of balm on your lips if you wanted. Okay guys, I just wanna show you, I did the same look last night using the same products, different lighting, you get a different effect, but this look can definitely go from day to night just using my light reflecting skincare products and my go-to balm. There's our look. There is our look. So yeah, if you're interested in any of these products, I have the Bright Elixir, which is Kojic, Kojic Acid. It's gonna brighten the brown spots. I have the Glass Skin. And next week I will have the Go To Balm listed. So check out my shop. And right here I'm gonna insert a clip of what it looked like last night. Okay, so we're ending our beauty session together. We're gonna show you the final product that will help you really get the glow, you know? So you're gonna use a little spoon. And you're gonna take my Brighten and Buff Lactic Acid and Milled Rice Powder, okay? Going to get a spoonful, put on your hand, get a few drops of water, you can even add like whatever serum or soap you want to add, and then rub it together, rub it on your face, don't scrub too hard. This is going to help break down any of the dead skin cells that you may have because, you know, when you use retin-A active ingredients, it, um, it makes the epidermis scoff off. Then I take a rag. You don't need to use a rag, but it feels good. Hot water. I always have a problem with using too much hot water. So I should use warm water. But yeah. And that way it's like, you don't even have a full face beat. You know, it's look pretty going out. I just want to show you guys how my glass skin and my go-to balm 
can give you a really fresh, effortless look. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my bath. Put some bubbles. And some eucalyptus salts. Okay. Let it rip. Oh. 